Sup people, it's Medigan here, and today I want to show you my version of the most OP build. It's Amrita Ninja. The build is based on Flying Kata's set, so ninjutsu is a big part of it. It has great melee and ranged damage, mobility and key regen. Also it doesn't restrict you to one weapon, and what else do you need? As I said before, the base is Master of Illusion, because of its great bonuses for ninjutsu. Sadly, full set bonus is not so great. That's why I'm not going to get it. Back to gear. Chest is flying Kato's ropes, and I want to have untouched ninjutsu with shuriken and kunai damage on every part of my gear. Another important thing to roll on the chest is life recovery Amrita absorption. And you can improve it even more by joining the Toyotomi clan. Healing from getting Amrita is very helpful, just try it. Having additional defense from Amrita Gouge is also great. Next part, gloves, flying cutters. Nothing special, choose your favorite damage skill, crimson flurry in my case, and try to solve his elemental damage taken guarding. Legs, flying cutters again. Roll for key recovery bonus Amrita Gouge and soul fuse elemental damage taken guardian. Next slot, coiled snake helmet, for its melee damage versus poisoned enemy. You can get smithing text for the side quest. Roll for key bonus, Amrita gouge and elemental damage taken guardian. What we have now? Bunch of untouched ninjutsu with shuriken and kunai damage and small bonus of no elemental damage received while guarding. And to top it all, Imakame's Griefs with faster winded recovery and tenacity. Imakame's Griefs will give you first set bonus, blindness on scorched enemy. And you can inflict scorching quite easy with flaming heron. Blindness is a very powerful form of control. Blinded enemies often attack in wrong direction and lose tracking of attacks, leaving their backs open for you to hit. And it's time for accessories now. In first slot, Yasakani Magatama, obviously, to get more set bonuses. Roll for melee damage versus poisoned enemies, shuriken and kunai damage, damage over time, and ninjutsu bonus from Amrita Gouge. And Toshis Abakos in second slot. With the same stuff, but flat ninjutsu, because it'll give you more ninjutsu power than second bonus ninjutsu from Amrita Gouge. Don't forget that you will get that sweet set bonus. It may save you once, and faster movement is always good. What's next? Raven Wing Griffel for shooting with a small bonus from Yasakani Magatama. Yuri Cannon for increased fire damage and small damage bonus from agility. Sift Hawk for Fly and Kratos set bonus. And you can always use it as secondary weapon with elemental damage. And for main weapon, my choice is Earthfall Kusarigama for its moveset and great scaling with dexterity and skill. Most important skills for me are attack bonus from dex or skill, life drain, melee key damage, high attack key consumption is also great as I'm playing in high stance. I recommend to use purity weapon for a game because of how many enemies are weak to it, including final bosses. The best part of the build is that you can change Kusarigama for almost any weapon, excluding Hammer X and Odachi. Just remodel it for skill or dexterity scaling, and you will see nice damage. Next part, items. Poison Shuriken for poisoning. Kunai for range damage and attacking when you are out of key. Flame and Heron Feathers for damage and scorching with blindness. Blinding Shell for fire resistant enemies. Sometimes levitation may be very useful. Few shurikens just in case. Any elemental talisman you like. Barrier for not stacking in your capuls. 
Extraction Talisman for constant healing and self buffing and Tiger Running. For Guardian Spirit I recommend using Tengen Kujaku because it's just too useful to pass by. You'll get nice buffs from Amrit Absorption depending on stands. All sensors at once, extended elemental buffs and a few more bonuses for Anima. It's just a little broken Guardian Spirit. And remember that you're going to use Extraction Talisman. So you'll gain healing from Amrit Absorption, buff from Tengen Kujaku and it's great synergy. So of course, Yatsu no Kami for more damage versus poisoned enemies, Toxic Slime for poison accumulation and poisoning, and Karoka for more damage with fire and some stealth. Few words about damage. In the end you should see more than 80% bonus melee damage versus poisoned enemies, but numbers are a bit lower in reality. If you don't like Kujaku or don't want to use Phantom Guardian Spirit, you may use Nekamata for Feral and for more ranged damage, or if you want Brood then you should use Shirohami with more poison accumulation and poisoning on yokai abilities. Stats You need 22 constitution and strength for using all gear, 35 stamina for staying with A grade agility, 99 dexterity and skill for damage with weapons and ninjutsu, 10 courage and magic just for how much you're getting for these points. Rest points I'm spending in hurt for larger key pool. It's in game build, but you can take some points from dexterity and skill if you really need. Next part, skills. Magic. In magic, grab, extraction talisman, and evil ward. Take all elemental talismans, so you may switch to any element if you need it. Amplification as mystery card. Slows with Panacea Crefest are really useful. And don't forget to take Barrier. Ninjutsu. Take all Shadow Arts and Dodging. Concealment as Mystic Card. Shuriken, Kunai and Strong Kunai. Shuriken Shooter and Strong Blade Technique. Ninja Tool Mastery and Poison Shuriken with Snake Bite. And don't forget about blinding shells for enemies with fire resistance. Dashing, cloud runner, tiger running, levitation, and anything you like for utility. For weapon skills, I recommend Shadow Strike and Full Moon Kata for any weapon. You are going to hit with full HP and from behind a lot. Summer Twilight for Kusarigama is one of the best weapon skills in the game. It gives you a huge damage buff when for a long time. And you may take Armor Piercer with Passage to Afterlife. They are also quite good to have. Customize your skills. I'm using Shooting Star for Misty Guard, Nimble Slice with Serpent Strike, Damage Boost Dexterity with Deliverance, Damage Boost Skill with Crimes and Flurry, and Mercenary Strike with Blade Spin for finishing. You may see all stuff you should get from this build here. 
once again. You are not forced to use Kusari Gamma with this build. Just remove the weapon for skill or dex scaling and draw for attack bonus from dex or skill. And a small showcase in the end. This fight is far from perfect, but you could see how it works. Thank you for watching, enjoy playing and good luck!